What's up, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, everybody out there? It's Philip20, and I'm back. Check it out. We've still got our oscilloscope from Keysight and I wanted to show you guys the sine wave of the magnum inverter and also I've got another inverter we'll talk about in another video. The magnum inverter, it's supposed to be a pure sine wave inverter, it's supposed to be super clean, super best, it's supposed to be the high end of frequencies for the inverters. Uh, you've got Outback that does a pretty good one, you've got uh, Classic uh, Midnight is making inverters now. I haven't gotten to see any of their stuff. I haven't invested into looking at their stuff. Um, and maybe possibly in the future they can uh, contact me and we can do some kind of collaboration on doing something. Um, because I plan on getting an oscilloscope uh, as soon as I can uh, come up with the money for one. Those things are really nice. And, and I can just keep on working with uh, Keysight if they'll let me. Uh, but Right now we're going to test the pure sine wave of the Magnuson inverter. It's supposed to be a pure sine wave inverter. If it is, that's, it's wonderful. We looked at it before a little bit. It didn't seem to be as clean as what I would have expected, I guess. But uh, right now we're going to test it on a lamp load. Above me there's a lamp and that's our lamp load. It's a 10 watt load. The inverter takes about 50 watts to be on. So we're looking at a total of 60 watts power consumption to do this test. What we have in front of us is two different sets of sine wave. This is the Magnuson with 10 watt load on the green and yellow. And this is the grid power. You can see why you can't attach an, a magnum inverter to grid power and just send power back, right? You can see that the voltage is being offset. You can see these two are the grid power and the magnum uh, frequency. So you can see how the voltage drops to zero and then it's rising again. So if we can just scoot this up a little. So you can see how the voltage drops to zero, okay? And then it's gonna rise again. This isn't real time. Real time it's doing this 60 times a second. But I've got something more interesting for you to see about the magnum inverter. You can see where it crosses at zero volts. It has a, a phase shift spike, okay? And you can see our spike right there and here both these cross points and we're going to zoom in a little and you can see it now again and let's take another zoom in and we're going to offset that and you, you see we have a spike uh, whenever it phase shifts So let's, let's center these up, bam. You can see when it's shifting its phase to the opposite direction, it has a spike. And I'm not sure if that's standard or normal. It doesn't seem like it has a large spike. But uh, what we're gonna do real quick is we're gonna test the load on this and see what it looks like. Now, okay. Now currently we have a load. We are looking at a 1074 watt load on the Magnuson inverter. The sine wave is right here. You can see it. this is directly at the inverter. This is not at the appliances. So uh, what I'm thinking is, you know, maybe this is standard. Let's uh, offset one of the phases and see how that spike looks compared. You can see it's still there, but it's not as bad as it was. And let's go ahead and flip it back up. 
Now it is still there again, but the sine wave is way cleaner with a 1000 watt load. Now if we zoom out, you can get a really good picture. It's a pretty clean sine wave. Okay. But if you zoom in, you can see it's not as clean as grid power. You can see it goes up and then back down. It, grid power is close, but we still have this funny offset here. And then we're going to zoom out. And we're going to move this up. And you can't tell that it's there until you really zoom into it. Now, can I say this is a bad sine wave? I, I can't because uh, it, it looks super clean um, and when you zoom out. But when you zoom in, it's different. You're running right at 60 hertz. Now, what you're seeing is two frequencies that are offset. And you see these two are moving to the right with the other two moving, you know, not moving at all. Which what's that what's happening is the ones moving to the right is actually a lower frequency. So currently I have uh one on grid power and one on the magnuson and then one on grid power, one on the magnuson. And you can, you can compare how clean they are to a pure sine wave. And as it runs across, you get to compare, is it perfectly clean? It is a really close to a pure sine wave. And if we take just a snapshot and then we zoom out, You can see how clean that sine wave really is. When you zoom in, it's, it's not perfect. But when you really zoom out, you take a closer look, that sine wave is nearly identical of a uh, grid power sine wave. Nearly. You can, you can see how identical it really is. So, it's, it's not really far off. Uh, if I was to say it's, it's too far off, it's, it's hard to say. This looks exactly like it did when I was testing it previously. This is a very good sine wave. It's a very good inverter. Um, you know, even if it isn't the most absolute perfect sine wave, the inverter itself shows that it is a quality inverter. Now, we're going to do some more tests with a different inverter. And I hope you guys like uh, this video. It's not really interesting, but it's something that needed to be explained. And the differences between a modified sine wave, which I can show on the screen here, uh, a square sine wave, etc. cetera. Um, I don't actually have a modified sine wave. I actually have only square wave uh, footage so if you want to look up modified sine wave, it looks like steps. It looks like there's like, uh, you know, several steps. Let's say, you know, it comes up. Let's move this up here. So it comes up. That's so cool. This, this is so cool. So it comes up, over, up, over, up, over, and then to its peak. It, you know, it steps, uh, you know, four times up. A square wave will step uh, from the very bottom voltage, you'll step up once and then step up again. So that is a square wave, and it, it's it's not it's a modified square wave, and just a modified sine wave. You know, you get a step step. You you can you can you know see the bar pattern. You step up, over, up, over, up, over. For instance, if you was to start here, you go up, up, up up and then down 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 and that that will give you your modified sine wave which is better than a square wave by a lot and uh, a modified square wave 
is still pretty bad though. So now this is the last thing for the magnum inverter we're gonna do. I'm showing you the interference frequency that you're gonna get from this, kind of like a radio frequencies. So you can see this. So what I'm actually gonna do is disconnect the ground circuit that goes to the magnum from the neutral. And we're gonna measure the radio frequency from the air as a capacitor to ground from the magnum, N not ground neutral. So, so we got both of those disconnected and it looks as if we've got a really nice frequency. Let's go to 26,000 inner. And you see it's, it's pretty much flat all the way across except for the beginning part. And let's go over here and just put, you know, 800 hertz. It's not showing nothing because there's nothing in that range. Let's go back to zero hertz and then let's go to, you know, 800 on the upper side. So you can see the peaks are... Uh, the frequency that we're receiving, let's go ahead and turn all these off. Now, if we just zoom on over here, we can measure X1, which is our wave frequency for 77,000 hertz, uh, kilohertz, 77, you know, thousand hertz, yeah. So, and if we go back and look closer, the highest peak is right at 200-ish, and we're going to go here to 200. If we go over here and take a closer look, the highest frequency that we was getting is right in the center of 60 hertz. 60 hertz, well, that frequency is coming from the electrical power circuits in the house. There is some other ones uh, that are a little higher. When I say a little, I mean It's 120 hertz, so since we're running two different phases in the house, I'd say this will go up and down a little bit. And then if we go over here, 180. So it's 60, 120, 180, and it just, it just keeps going. Let's... See, uh, 1,000. So 1,000 hertz. So you can see it's, this is alternating, you know. It's kind of like a frequency up and down. And you can see it's starting to go down to uh, negative, it appears. You can see the frequency now, uh, you know, 240. And then we'll go to 300. And then we got 360 and then 420. So it's in a magnitude of 60. And when you got an inverter and the grid power doing this, it, it does this. It does the wave of uh, keep going up and down. If we keep going past 1,000 hertz, let's go to 5,000. Enter. And then you can see it's going up and down and it's just kind of leveling off until it becomes static. And then we're going to zoom on over here. 540 hertz. And then it goes down to 600, which is 60. And then it's five, 660. And then the next one is, you know, 720. And... You know, it, it's it's kind of weird how 
we have this frequency. And if I didn't have this inverter running, I bet you, here, let's turn the inverter off. Okay, and you see the frequency changed. I'm gonna shut down the inverter. Now, you see all this interference that the inverter was outputting because of the frequencies going back and forth, back and forth. So that is a lot compared. So you're leaking radio frequencies off of the inverter because of that. And it's, it goes between, it's, it's, it's a frequency of 60 and, and multiplied. So it's 60 times two times three times four times four. Five, it keeps going up and it's kind of weird like that, which is, you know, unusual, but cool, I guess. Um, probably wouldn't hurt to have a uh, Faraday cage around the magnum inverter. Uh, you know, it wouldn't hurt at all. Now that's something to consider in the future and we'll see you next time. Peace out. Hello, lazy to get gentlemen. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. There's lots more content coming. Click the subscribe button below. Make sure you come back for more because there's great content always coming up every day in this channel. See you next time. Peace.